we are going to extract the currency code from the transaction currency and the settlement currency. Before we start, I suggest you to enter the sample data like this, just like this case when you settle for the purchase transaction you only need to enter the transaction type and the transaction invoice number and you don't need to fill in the details like this but i haven't created the validation that's why i just leave this blank okay for the settlement side if you watch my previous video your settlement number cannot be duplicate that's very important because we relied on this validation to extract the settlement details based on the settlement transaction number. It's a little bit tricky because we want to extract the settlement bank details based on the settle bank account column. So that if you enter bank 2 again, let's say if you settle like settlement 2 and settlement 4 we settle different invoices or we do different deposit transaction we don't need to enter the settle bank currency and the settlement particular again but for different settlement transactions that involve bank 2 we do need to enter the settlement post date transaction date and the amount but we don't need to fill in the settlement bank and the associated general ledger account so i leave the bank to blank okay so let's say if i change this to bank 14 then i can select the bank account right oh, sorry i have to specify the currency let's say if it's euro then i can select the account Let's say if our bank account is Canadian dollar, which is the same as the reporting currency that I select here, reporting currency, that means it's a local bank. So I can select from the local cash account. That's the one that you won't see the dot, right? So if I change this one to currency other than Canadian dollars, then I will have the selections of those GL accounts that has the dot okay because this is the first time the bank 14 appears on both sides invoice and a settlement let me just pick one from the left hand side the invoice let's say if i pick bank zero because this is the first bank transaction then if i pick bank zero i don't need to select the currency in the settlement bank so if i pick bank zero and this time i shouldn't be able to select anything right let me just change it back to bank two and again i cannot select the dropbox so let me create two columns here transaction currency code and this one settle currency code let me just make it dark change it to filled in with dark color font size is yellow just make it a little wider make it nicer because we need to extract the currency from the invoice part so let me just show the type for purchase invoice 002 even if i don't enter the transaction currency I still retrieve the currency of the invoice 002. Okay, so let me just explain the formula. Let me just make it a little bigger. If the transaction type is B and the transaction number is not nothing, that means you have filled in the transaction number, you have filled in the type and the transaction number, which is a bank one, right? Then we are going to look up from the bank account currency code of the bank account list using the match method. Let me just go. So we are using the transaction party and then we match with the bank account list that we create in episode 26. We match the bank account type of the bank account summary we have bank zero right and we look up for the bank account currency code which is canadian dollar okay go back to the formula 
transaction party we match with the bank account extract of the bank account list it has to be an exact match then we are going to look up for the currency code in this case it is canadian dollar right let's say if i use the bank zero again bank zero appears once right and let's say if i change this one to bank zero then i should expect this row let me just highlight this one so even if we don't enter the transaction currency we still get canadian dollar right that's how it works see this one bank zero then we go on to explain the purchase and this is only the first part let me just show you the one that we did and this one is the second part so if it is a purchase or sales transaction and to wrap around the or right if this one and the transaction number is filled in like this so if this is p or r any transaction number is filled in then we are going to look for the transaction currency using this system transaction number so what is the transaction currency it's the transaction currency right this is the cat and the match method that we use is the system trans number it has all these numbers right p12 so that's what we did right we use the system transaction number to look up from the system transaction number column and look for the transaction currency with the index formula after that we extract the leftmost three digit which is this one CAD EUR USD right this one then we move on to the settle curl code paste that so basically what this means is if the transaction type and settlement transaction number are filled in then we're going to look up from the bank account currency code using the match method to match the settle bank extract to the bank account extract so we use the settle bank extract to look up from the bank account list bank account extract and return the bank account currency code so let me go back to the bookkeep interface that's basically what we did save it